Hello friends, welcome to my channel Physics Programmers. So today we will learn how to solve an equation uh, by numerical techniques and today we will discuss about the bisection method. This is a very useful method if you can predict or you can guess a range in between uh, your solution axis. So I am Shubhadi from IIT Kanpur. Today we will start bisection method. So first the problem statement is solve x numerically for fx is a function of x which is equals to 0. That function of x can be different for different problem. So just look at this. So if the function fx is looks like this that in between some range that x1 to x2 if it cuts this one point at uh, x axis then this is the solution so we have to find out some range that x1 and x2 such that the function fx will cut the x axis once but uh, there can be different thing like that uh, the function can be like this this uh, dashed line which is uh, which doesn't cut x axis in between this x1 to x2 range but uh, and this red solid solid function this function is uh, can be some different functional form and it is cutting two times and uh, this will you cannot uh, uh, use this bisection method for that uh, kind of problem this kind of problem in this range there is two solutions so you have to choose some different range such that the one solution will exist and uh, the last one this one this can be this uh, in this portion where fx is always negative so then you cannot have any solution in between this x1 to x2 range so for that you have to implement this condition that if x1 multiplied by fx2 must be negative if negative then that means uh, this uh, x1 uh, is uh, here so x1 is here so fx1 is uh, positive and fx2 is here so fx2 is negative so that means in between somewhere there will be one solution okay but if this kind of thing happens then it will be positive because uh, both of the fx1 in this case for the dashed red line so fx1 and fx2 both of them are positive so that is why this is positive and similarly in this case again fx1 and fx2 is positive so the multiplication is positive and similarly this is both of them are negative so in this case so negative negative multiplication is positive so you have to check it out that fx1 fx2 is negative so that means uh, x1 the fx1 is uh, is in this if it if fx1 is in the positive quadrant then the fx2 will be in the neg negative quadrant so that means in between somewhere so we ha we can choose a range such that x1 and x2 in between them there will be a solution now you have to bisect the range and get the middle point middle point is defined as x3 is equals to x1 plus x2 divided by 2 and uh, there can be two cases so let me just discuss the first case that case 1 when this fx1 multiplied by fx3 is negative that means what that means the solution exists between x1 and x3 not between x3 and x2 so then we can just update this we can just uh, choose our x2 in the next step such that that x2 is equals to x3 so this value will be stored into x2 so in my next step the solution will be we will be finding the solution between this x1 and this updated x2 and similarly the another thing can happen that we bisect the range and uh, we get this x3 but the thing is your solution is in between x3 and x2 so then we have to update our x1 such that we have to store this x3 value uh, in this variable that x1 variable then our updated uh, uh, range will be in the next step will be this x1 to x2 then we can just again bisect and uh, then we can just go near to the solution and similarly we have to repeat the procedure until the absolute difference that 
we have some range that x1 and x2 so there is a finite difference absolute the difference between x2 and x x1 so when it will be tends to zero so then the both the line will cut this vertically when the solution will be converged so then we can just take the bisected solution that x3 as a solution and we can implement this by using this condition that absolute difference between x2 and x1 is smaller than some pre-specified accuracy so it must be very smaller and uh, now let's go to the computer and implement this method using python so i will use python and uh, this function for example because this is very easy to uh, guess the solutions oh sorry so this if will not be there because the function is basically fx is equals to x plus 1 multiplied by x minus 2 equals to 0 so the solutions are that minus 1 and 2 so let me just start so I have this uh, I am using this visual studio code you can use any editor any uh, library any software external software or you can just use your terminal too so first let me define the function so fx is equals to let me just define it return x plus 1 multiplied by x minus 2 okay now uh, there are two solutions okay so if I want to get the solution 1 okay so for that I have to choose my range like 0 0.5 and x2 is equals to maybe 1.4 okay so in between this range uh, we can have this solution x1 now we have to find the bisection method fi find the solution using bisection method so let me just define another function bisection bisection the function should be there and the range should be there okay and uh, yeah now what I have to do that we have to check the first thing that between this x1 and x2 do I have any solution or not so first we have to if x1 multi fx1 multiplied by fx2 is negative actually you can just uh, do in other way other way around that if it is positive then no solution exists here no or even number of solutions exists okay just print this print this and uh, return return none just uh, you can just write return so that the uh, uh, you will come out from this function else you can do you can just uh, else you can just write a while loop while absolute value absolute difference between this apps function will uh, give you the absolute difference so x2 uh, minus x1 so it will give you the absolute value if this is greater than some pre-specified value let's say i am just writing this 10 to the power minus 4 okay or minus 5 maybe so this will be more accurate then we can just check that if now first uh, you have to bisect the range so x3 is equals to x1 plus x2 uh, divided by 2 then just first check that f x1 multiplied by f x3 if they are negative if this is negative then what will happen then that means your solution is in between x1 and x3 so you have to just uh, write x2 is equals to x3 so you have to update your x2 uh, by x3 uh, else if 
if x1 multiplied by l, l sorry in terms they should be elif so this means else if okay so x3 x3 if this is positive okay so if it is positive then what you should do that that means the solution is in between x3 and x2 so uh, we can just update our x1 by x3 and otherwise that if uh, otherwise what can happen that it is equals to 0 that means what either fx1 is equals to 0 or fx3 is equals to 0 so if if x3 uh, is equals to 0 equals equals 0 then return x3 uh, if x1 equals to equals to 0 then return x1 okay and ultimately if this condition achieved that uh, it is if it is not greater than 0 uh, greater than this please specify it a number so this is very small that means what that means x1 and x2 is very close and whatever with x3 that will be the solution so solution is converse then ultimately you return the solution x3 okay now just uh, you can define this by you can just uh, call this function bisection f and x1 comma x2 and just print this out and you can just see and just see that the solution will come sorry what happens if it is uh, okay sorry so solution there is no solution because uh, the solution will be minus one okay so minus one so it is there is no solution in between 0.5 to uh, min uh, uh, 1.4 but you can just write like this that minus 1.5 to 1.4 just take it out then you will have the solution so you can see that this is solution and this solution is accurate up to 10 to the power minus 5 why because we have our this pre-specified pre accuracy is 10 to the power minus 5 so you can just increase your accuracy by um, by this by specifying this uh, small value okay so you can just uh, check it another check the another this thing that uh, if uh, you can just put 2 then it will again give you no solution because there will be two solutions so because even number of solutions are there but when you have you should you can just write 1.5 to 2.4 then it should give you another thing that it is almost uh, 2 so this is again you have just 10 to the power minus uh, 5 uh, error but so this is how you can just solve your equations uh, with bisection method and this is very easy and uh, yeah that's all and subscribe my channel for interesting more interesting videos thank you